Y'all gonna think I'm trolling. Y'all gonna think I'm doing something wrong. But I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. I I find it interesting how one week you love your people, them your brothers, but the next week is f everybody you don't see around him. Y'all know what I'm talking. About. I'm talking about me, mom. Ah, let's just get into it. <laughs> It's your favorite local, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe and join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H, one word. That's where you and I can stay in contact, plus I'm going to personally follow you back, like your pictures and all that. To the crew, that's the truth. What up with the visionaries? If you mess around and say, whoever you don't see me around with, they not with me. Like, literally. We not cool with whatever, 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 and everything like that, right? And then the next week, you say, bruh, how am I going to diss the person that put me on with this? And then the next week, you start sending subliminal shots like, man, phoning on him, be out here, phoning him, ain't even from here. And then this week, now you saying this. Hold on. Don't come on my shit trying to hoop me. I'm dancing. Damn, I got an accident right here. I'm trying to take Papa's ass off the road. Hey, Papa, you okay? <laughs> Damn. I'm with a family, man. Wake y'all stooped ass up, man. Dumbass fans. Oh, fucking stupid, lame ass, crackers. I love you, folks. And then I look at my shit on. It's down there. All white people saying that's goofy shit, folks. <laughs> that last part funny. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna I'm tell y'all something, right? Mimo was out in L.A. this last week, and. Certain people want to rock with certain people and everything like that. I'm not going to mention Cuz features and everything like that. And I'm not going to mention who Cuz is with because that's hella lame. That's, that's just lame as hell. But what I can tell you is this. While everybody keep acting like people don't got people who rock with them in certain cities, they actually do. So it's best you fall your ass in line. And that's all Mimo trying to do is fall in line. You know and I know when Dirk dropped that damn tape, it's about to be a bunch of subliminals. Damn near every song, from what I know, is every song going to have a subliminal diss towards nobody. But it's going to be directed for somebody. And he basically going to let y'all know if you feel some type of way about it, then you feel some type of way about it. You can't walk into a room where I'm at and you go, hey, a hundred pound, five foot three woman, bring your punk ass here. And I'm going to turn around and go, who, me? You ain't talking about me. Nah. So watch what happens when Dirk drops this next album. And if it does well, if it does well, I'm going to let y'all know something right now. It's going to be a big ass shakeup. A big one. Because if Dirk drops that, he's going to claim number one status of the year. You can bank on that one. And then secondly, he going to start asking people for basically his roses. And when he does that, watch who responds and watch who does it. He going to want his credit after he dropped this album. And I guarantee you, Mimo ain't going to be one of the ones to do it. Why, though? Because it's going to go back to that hint of jealousy. That's what's going to happen. More jealousy going to happen because it's jealous. And I slightly get it, but I slightly don't. Because at one point, you do have to say, bruh, you the hottest thing out here and everything like that. I need to pop more features. We need to do more stuff and everything like that. But on the other hand, Lil Dirt can't sit here and give you a whole entire career with his catalog. I mean, catalog. Catalog of all his hits. And that's the part he don't understand. 
They got mad when Kara started doing all that stuff for little baby. They was pissed. It's a bunch of jealous niggas that's pissed, but you know what they did? They fell in line. And you know what he did? He separated and tried to create his own wave, and it didn't work. So, yeah, you OTF for life. Only as long as you got that contract. Remember that before you get to flapping your lips. And this is no diss towards me, Mo, because I can slightly understand what Cuz is talking about. But at the same time, there's always two sides of the coin. Mimo, first off, you ain't never been hotter in your life than, than you are right now. Let's be all the way honest. Every two weeks, you're supposed to be dropping a music video. And you know you're about to go do a little time. You're not going to make no money in jail. So what the hell is you doing out here, homie? Come on, cuz, you don't, you don't think for yourself. You literally need people to hold your hands and tell you what to do. So when you watch this video, bro, get in the studio. If you diss me, bro, I'm going to promote the hell out the song. I ain't going to lie. And I ain't even going to diss you. I ain't going to ask you to box. I ain't going to ask you for none of that. I'm going to act like, ah, that's pretty cool. All right. Because unlike you, the type of person I am, I don't even trip no more. There's a couple of cats I could put their songs up right now that diss me that are bigger name artists, but they already got millions of followers and subscribers and million hit views and everything like that. So all it's gonna look like is like I'm cloud chasing. And don't drop me, don't drop my name specifically, please don't. But if it's if it's dope enough, I might make a diss track. I might make a response. Nah, I ain't doing that. I don't care about it. I wish you luck. I wish you success. But bruh. You got to get your ass to work. All that riding around, Steve Fool, on Fulham Greg Fool, on Biddy Fool, on Biddy Fool, Steve Greg Fool, nigga Goofy Fool. Bruh, get your ass to work. What are you waiting on exactly? I'm just trying to understand something. I'm trying to understand something. What the hell are you doing with what you're doing? Because you ain't doing nothing. I'm gone. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street the Music, Setty Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video.